printing. So what we have here is there's this app called um, Print Shop, and there's this app here called Tinkercad. And so what you do is you can make things with it. Like for example, we made this metal on it, and so you would what you would do is you'd go to the metal maker part, and then you could pick the background you want. And you can pick what inside you want, and then you go to text. You can write what you want. Like if it was like a badge or something, you could write the person's name in it. But here, this was for our school spelling bee. So we put spelling bee in our school in the year in it. And this one, this is for chairs. And so what you do is you stack them on top of each other. Like this, like because there's a little wedge in the bottom and then there's a little wedge on the top. You need to go like that. And then you put it underneath the chair to balance it out. And then this is a door stop. Like you put it in the door to stop the door. And this is a music stand clip and it's shaped like a music note. So you put it like and this would be your music. And this would be your music stand. And then you clip it right here to see your music. I was having it on the stand. And then you could, this is a bookmark here. And this one we made in third grade the, um, because uh, we have this thing at our school called the STEAMS Expo. And it's, it's like, it's this science expo. And so the theme that year was sustainability. And so we decided, my class decided to make like this little town, uh, a little sustainable town. And so on the house we put um, solar panels that are actually made of tin foil. There are, we also made like little turbines. And this is a prototype. So when we first got the 3D printer, this is what um, Mr. Marine made. Well, those are, these are Spiros, which are used with the older kids, and these are Keebles, which are used with the first graders. Um, you can um, program the Spiros with an app called Lightning Lab. You can change the color with the set color. Um, for example, you could do, uh, you could make it go purple, let's say it go purple. And then this changes the number of seconds it moves, so we could do one second. This changes the angles, it, this changes the speed, the slower. The lower the, the lower the number, the slower that it is, and if you have questions, and the faster the number, the um, greater the number, the faster it is. So we don't want it to go too fast, so the spirit doesn't get lost. So we're still using the product. And this changes the angle it goes in, so forward. And you could have it go a little bit um, to the side. I don't usually do that when you could do that. Test it out and this is the aim and you have to make sure the blue dot is facing toward you. Otherwise the sphere won't do what you asked it to do. Okay, so you just hit start and make sure it doesn't fall. There you go. Okay. Yeah. And that's the Spiro. But beginners, they mostly use they mostly use this app, the Spiro app, just to get the feel of how you use how you actually use the Spiro. And this is the Kibo, which you use with first graders because it's a lot more simpler than the Spiro. What you would do is you would take the Kibo, set it up like this. These are all different parts as you can see. So set up, up set it up like that, press this button, and when this flashes green you know that you've scanned it. So go. Well done. And I put it right here. In Innovation Lab, I'm Lisa Slayman, and in Innovation Lab, I use Minecraft EDU. And Minecraft EDU is is just like the title Minecraft, but instead we used it for education, and we used it to design what we were studying in social studies. And one group was studying Vikings at the time, so they designed a Viking ship. And then when they were done designing it with their materials, they printed it out. And this was how they, how it appeared as a prototype with That's a 3D so cool. printer. But at the time, my my group, my group wasn't studying Viking. My group was studying 
Jamestown. So on my, me and my group, were, st were we looked at a paper of Jamestown and designed it, and designed it as a copy of the paper. So, and this was our version of Jamestown. And this house is the house of the leaders, and these other houses are the houses of the emigrants. And then this house, the small, the small red house, is the well they used. What, which they used for, for, ver, for, ver, for very for very which was very important because they were, because they it was like a very important source of fresh water and the un, un, not, the other group that did Jamestown designed their Jamestown as this unfortunately we didn't finish it but we got a big big picture big picture of what it feels like to create and engineer especially if we wanted to be engineers when we grew up